heroes, welcome back. I'm so excited to get to spend more time with you at our Hero Central, exploring the great stories of our faith. All the stories so far have the focus on people who already knew how to do what our hero verse says, do good, seek peace, go after it. Let's say that verse together. Flame, you want to lead? Yeah. All right, kids. Ready? Psalms 34, 14b. Do good, seek peace, and go after it. Oh, that was excellent. Remember last time we were together when I told you that Jesus had grew in wisdom and years? Well, in today's story, Jesus is many years older and wiser. Yes. And just before our story took place, Jesus had been down in Galilee, traveling and teaching. And when people heard that he was also healing the sick, the Bible tells us they began to bring him everyone who was ill, in pain or paralyzed or suffering from any other problem. And he could make them well. Isn't that amazing, Flame? That is just incredible. Well, as a result, great crowds from all over came to him. He was famous for healing people. He was their hero. Wow, yes, he was their hero. Well, one day, Jesus gathered those people together, and he sat down on the mountain to let them gather around him. And then he began to teach them. The story was part of a bigger story called the Sermon on the Mount. But what we're going to talk about today is the Beatitudes. The what? The Beatitudes. That's a word that comes from an older Greek or Latin word that means blessed or happy. And Jesus taught the people the Beatitudes as a way of comparing how things are now and how they will be. Even though things look hard now or troubling, we can have hope that they'll get better. Oh, that's what we need is hope. Well, I've invited a special guest to come and be with us today. And I thought maybe you and our special guest could help us with the Beatitudes and see if we could help the children understand what they mean. Cindy, you ready? Here I come! Oh, Flame! Oh, I've always wanted to be with Flame. Oh, Flame, you're my hero. Oh, shucks. Yes. Well, okay. Yes, this is Cindy. Some of you probably remember Cindy. She's been at our church before. Yes, she's so fun. Well, <clears throat> Cindy, we're going to be talking about the Beatitudes. And remember what Beatitudes are? Um, yes, I think so. They're, 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 they're things that help us to have hope. Yes, they are. Okay, and we're going to talk about them today and see if you and Flame can, can help us really understand them better. Okay, we're ready. Well, the first beatitude is, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hmm, the poor in spirit. I think I know that. Happy are those who know they need God for every part of their life, for God will give them good things. Wow, Flame, you're so smart. Well, thank you. <laughs> Cindy, you, you embarrass Flame. Oh, well, he is. All right, let's go on to number two. Blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Oh, I, I think I know that. Mourn means like you're really, really sad. You could be sad because someone died. Or you could be sad because you know you didn't obey your mom. Mm, that's true. Well, God says happy are those that's sad because God will comfort them. Like lots of hugs. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, now Cindy. Okay, that's good. All right, blessed are the meek, this is number three, 
for they shall inherit the earth. <gasps> inherit? I know what that means. What does that mean, Cindy? Well, my mommy, my mommy has this really pretty ring, and she said one day I get it. I get to inherit it. Well, what does that mean? That means that I will get it someday when I'm older. Oh, I see. Well, this says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What is that? What do you think, Flame? Well, those who are gentle and kind will receive good things from God. Oh, good things. That sounds great. Oh, boy. Okay, number four. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Hmm, I, I've never eaten righteousness. I, I don't know what that means. Flame, what do you think? Well, that's, that doesn't mean you're going to hunger and eat righteousness. No, that means you when you're hungry, you really, really, really want food. And when you're thirsty, you really, really, really want water. So... They're saying that that if you the, you'll be really happy if you really really want what's good and right, and God will give you all that you need. Oh, like you really really want righteousness, and God will help you. That's right. Okay, let's move on. Number five: Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Hmm, well, let me think of that. How about, happy are those who truly show their love and care for others, for others will show love and care for them. Hey, that reminds me of the golden rule. Treat others as you want others to treat you. Well, Cindy, that's pretty good. That's true. Okay, number six. Blessed are the true in heart, for they shall see God. Ah, oh. what about happy are those who truly try to be good and, and do kind things, for they shall see God's goodness all around them. Well, that's a pretty good idea, Cindy. Good job. Number seven, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Oh, peacemakers, I know what peacemakers is. Try to make peace. My brothers and sisters, they're always arguing and fussing, and I try to get in there and say, don't do that. God doesn't like that. That's true. That's being a peacemaker. Well, happy are those who want peace. With everyone, they shall be called the children of God, showing love and kindness, just like God does for us. That sounds really good. The children of God. Wow. Okay, and this... This one we're going to have for our last one. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Wow, the prophets before us were persecuted? Oh, yes, greatly. Well, at school sometimes, little Bobby calls me a name. And I don't like that. Well, what do you do? Well, the first time it happened, I hit him. <gasps> oh, no, Cindy. But then now, I know not to do that. And I just walk away. Well, that's great, because you know what? When you walk away... You know, you're doing what God wants you to do. You're trying to be good. And God's going to reward you. He's going to give you lots of rewards in heaven. <gasps> that's wonderful. Wow, that's so great. Well, all of these were, were the Beatitudes that God gave us. And he wants us to know that in the, our darkest times, when it's really hard, he gives us hope that things will get better. And that's what we want to think about today, that God's heroes have hope. Wow, that's great. You know, let's think about some other things in our life that are hard to do and see what you think about that, okay? 
It's good to eat your vegetables because... Yuck! Oh no, Cindy! But vegetables? Broccoli! Well, I think I know it's good to eat your vegetables because it helps you to grow big and strong. It helps you to be smart and it helps your body to grow like it should. Really? Oh. Okay. I'll try. Okay, Cindy. What about it's good to do your homework because... Ugh. Homework? Yes, Cindy. It's good to do your homework because it'll help you be smarter and learn what the teacher's trying to teach you and follow directions. Uh-oh. You mean I can't use the excuse anymore that my dog ate my homework? No. Uh, okay, I will do my homework. It'll make me smarter. Yes. I didn't know that. Okay, okay. All right, one more. It's good to pull weeds out of a garden, even when it's hot and buggy outside. Oh, I know that one. My grandma, I helped my grandma pull the weeds out of her garden because she says the plants will die if we don't. And I like the plants she has in her garden, not some of them. I like the watermelon really good. Well, there you go, Cindy. It's hard to do it, but it's good in the end. Wow, that's really a good idea. You know what? I have a song. I, I would like to sing a song. Okay. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. Beatitudes. When Jesus gave the Beatitudes, he wanted people to have hope. When things, bad things happen, have hope. Yeah, and the foolish man, he didn't have God. That's what it means, build your house on the sand. That means not knowing who God is. And bad things happen and his house went splat. Well, that's sad for the foolish man. Maybe the wise man can help the foolish man. That would be great. That was a good song, Cindy. Where did Finn go? Well, he's here. I'm here, Cindy. I'm here. Okay. Well, that was great today, everyone. And I hope you boys and girls got the idea of the Beatitudes because God gives us encouragement and he wants us to know that when bad things happen, if we keep trying our best, good things will come our way. Yeah. Okay. So let's say our hero verse one more time. Okay. I know what it is. Psalms 34, 14b. Do good, seek peace, and go after it. That was great, Cindy. And remember, heroes have hope. Okay, that's all for now. See you guys another time. Bye-bye. <laughs>